Hello and welcome to Holdridge's Crusade. Today we're going to be in uh, Shard Landing again. And we're going to be doing the quest. Um, Unusual Goral Coral. Uh, this is a... Uh, I think it's a shorter quest, uh, honestly. But we have to go uh, collect some specialized tools and do some stuff. So let's go ahead and accept this. So we need to locate a mineral extractor, obtain samples, and uh, that's it. So this is uh, not terribly difficult, but we want to be ready for it here. So let me make sure I got everybody, and let's get them mounted again. Took me forever to do that other quest. I'm doing these ones back to back. All right, so the Goral Coral takes place down here in Corruption's End, if I'm not mistaken. Um, actually northeast first. So we need to go northeast over here. And I think if we switch to the goods map, yeah, right there. That's the supply box we need. So we need that item. Uh, before we do anything, let's do a little name check. Plague Spine is up. Plague Spine, where do you spawn? Where do you spawn Plague Spine? Plague Spine is down there, so uh, we might get him. We might not. Someone else probably. Someone is probably down there. Uh, there's a uh, 120 Ranger running around, just like killing everything. So let's see how this goes. All right. So the wooden supply box is like right over here. If I'm not mistaken. I don't know if we have to actually pick up anything from it. I can't remember. We just walk over it. I can remember exactly. There it is right here. So I just click it. Open. There we go. That's all we had to do. Uh, put that in our bag and we're good. So let's go to everybody else. Open. There we go. Get the item. And one more time. Open. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. And the uh, enchanter did ding to 97, but she didn't really get anything special uh, from, from it, really. So nothing new. All right, we need to now locate... the mineral extractor in in the camp <laughs> maybe i missed something here all right whoa where are you trying to find to all right let's run back inside the camp real quick maybe there's something we pick up inside there i just strange yeah the supply box right over there yeah now I remember. Just zoom, zoom through this. Uh, oh my god, really? There we go, got it. I'm, uh, I'm excited to be done with this zone. I, I, gotta, I, I I've done it a few times, right? You know, I've, I've, I've spent my time here in uh, Shards Landing, and at this point, I am like, you know what? Let's, uh, let's see somewhere else. So, open, oh yeah, all right, break follow. So this is the annoying part of this quest, right? So you have to go around the camp, now that I remember it all, and find the box that you can click on, one, and then two, that actually has a uh, the item in it. Nope. And then they, they all respawn at different times, so... It's just a matter of finding it, opening it. But, uh, I don't think it's the same one every time, though. There we go. We got, uh, another item there. So let's 
break uh, break mounting here. So see same thing. Now if we go straight to where Holdridge was, right? I think it was this one right here. Yeah, see she didn't get it. So you kind of have to like search and find this damn thing. And uh, it's, I think it's random. I think it's, uh, it might actually depend on how many you've already opened kind of thing too. See there, we got it on that one. All right, and the druid now. I don't think I can click on any of those ones. Let's go over here. There's one over here, right? Yeah, so far. And then if I come over to this one, and then this one should have it, right? No, one more. <laughs> it's gotta be one more, right? There we go, one more. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, and then on the fifth one? Yeah, the fifth one. All right, let's run back here. Let's remount you, remount you, and here. All right, so now we need a sample of that. So Magnus Burson. Oh, is this guy? <laughs> is he this guy over here? Yeah, he is. All right, perfect. That's even easier. So we can do a circle of shards landing because I have a druid. Uh, otherwise, you got to run uh, all the way down here. And it puts us out right in front of him perfectly. Hail him. And then he's going to want us to uh, get him some pelts. So we have to do that. So let's hail, let's hail him on everybody. And if I'm not mistaken, he wants these pelts from these guys right here, yeah. So let's just go over here, con these real quick. These are relatively weak, but they're dubious, so we don't have to worry about them. Uh, so we can just kill these guys. So everybody needs three undamaged. Now, I can't remember if this is like a physical item or if this is like a quote-unquote quest item that just automatically gets checked off. So we'll find out. And it is automatic quest item it gets checked off. Everybody got one. So I just kill these relatively weak mobs here and have no problem with that. <laughs> there we go, two. Everybody's a two, perfect. And got him. All right, let's run back over here to the uh, Agus. Magnus, let's hail him. Are these like physical items in my bag? Yeah, they are. There we go. So he gave us a jug. <laughs> All right, uh, da, 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 where are these three pelts? Right here. That makes that so much easier when they, uh, the group aware quest, right? Anything that helps you out in a group like that is fantastic. There you go. Got it. All right, so use the mineral extractor. Here, let's go to hold ridges so we can actually read this. So gather a sample from a coral at Corruption's End. Water sample, Corruption's End. Grab several corrupted coral samples. All right, so everything's in corruption's end, which is, if we current zone this map, right? They're just right over there. And if we're lucky, Plague Spine, or whatever his name is, is still up. So let's just run over here. After we grab our guys who got stuck on a bush that has collision. Oh, man. 
Come on. I don't know how the collision in this game works, but getting putting collision objects in all these bushes must be expensive for this, so. Oh man. Instead of just billboards like all the rest of the grass, right? You can run through it. Alright, let's run through here. We should be almost there now. If we're lucky, we can get another name. That'd be nice. I'd like to get more... More armor, right? So I can gear up one of these characters with uh, some armor. I'm going to buy the Marks of Valor armor with uh, all their tokens for Holdridge. So he's going to go straight to tier 4. Alright, there is a guy here. So these are probably already... Uh, kind of taken care of, right? So... We need to kill three of these anyway, so... Let's find a... Spot to pull this guy from. Jeez. It's like line of sight issues galore. Alright, so... This should count for that. And I think you have to get in the water for the other ones. If I remember right. To swim in there. There's some coral down there and I have to do something on them. Alright, everybody got credit for that one. We're just gonna clear all these all this trash around the edge here so we can get in the water. Let's go ahead and break follow. Let's dismount. And let's dismount on you. Paladins and Shadow Knights instant mount, which is uh, kind of cool. Like any mount instantly. <laughs> they also start with a faster mount because they can summon their, uh, their, their first mount, which is just phenomenally cool. That white horse we were running on early on. Paladin, or Shadow Knights get the black horse. I wonder how that's going to work with Personas, like, right? Am I going to be able to, like, switch to Shadow Knight, summon the horse, put it in my key ring, and then switch back to Paladin and mount it? There's a lot of, lot of little things in, the, in Personas that are going to be, uh, different. <laughs> like, hopefully they, like, I um, mean, it's November, right? And they still have an release the uh, FAQ uh, for that, so we'll see. Alright, that guy's pulling, so we should be able to just go into the water here. And here's a coral right here. So, uh, mineral extractor, right? Can't remember how this one works. Oh, this what? <laughs> this this is a container. Uh, dragon satchel. It's water samples or some nonsense. All right. Gather several. Hold on. Use the chemical filter. Oh, yeah, yeah. Filter water sample. This is this other device we got from the quest. Alright, so we have crystallized water sample. Crystallized coral sample. Alright, we need the rest of the uh, kills. So for that, so let's get out of here. And then uh, let's drop her in. So this is coral. And where is that other device right here? And let's double double dip, if you will. Let's get her in the water here too. Uh, mineral extractor.
water filter and gather infected panther samples. All right, so we need to kill panthers now. There we go. That's easy enough. So the panthers should, oh, there's a group over here. So like, just walk up here and say hi. Who's their tank? So that's probably where the guy's driving from, right? This guy maybe? All right. Let's see, there's a prowler right there. Let's skip that one. Go. Go deeper, right? Because I only need three. And I think they're going to be fine if I take three. Because this game has no camps. <laughs> that is the rule, and that is what every encounter I have ever had with another player has turned into. So, I just do what I want. Go. What are we at here? Ninety five percent. No idea how the enchanter got so far, far ahead, but it is what it is, honestly. There we go. Eighty seven percent. These guys need to be remounted. It's the only way they can kind of keep up with mana is if they're mounted, so. Unfortunately. I, don't, I just don't like the way the mounts uh, have that weird stop and go thing. Alright, one more. Let's go with this guy. Now, I did put a campfire down over in the middle of the zone, so we should be able to get back to uh, our spot real easy. Let's do, let's do these AA nukes just to speed this up a little bit here. <laughs> there we go. Didn't really do much, but uh, I, I definitely need to change up the way the uh, druid plays. Drop the nukes, I think. All right, there's still the animal, animal samples in the this thing, right? So All right, where are, where are the animal samples? Uh Oh, here we go. Hold on. Use the chemical suspension to extract fear from the animal flesh. All right, click. Try this. I don't remember the combination. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now we need to return to the engineer with the samples. All right. So can uh, can fire everybody back. Really? forever all right uh let's just go over here i'll deal with i'll deal with laggy characters later all right so return the samples to her so one and two 
And three. Oh, I gotta hail her first. I forgot. Hail her, and then she gives us another thing to combine in there. And then we do this. A lot of little busy work, right? A lot of little busy work. Combine. Now. Release the essence of the small crystal of the heart of fear. Alright, so we go to the center of the camp. Let's go over there on the other side. Yoink. Like, that's a zone line. <laughs> like, if you fall down the hole, you have to you zone into a zone. Right? So, keep that in mind. Alright, and then... Uh, damn it, where'd I put it? There it is. <laughs> remember does not what oh I need a sent need soul okay I, I remember now I, rem I thought that yeah I totally remember now now I gotta go kill something hail him all right capture a soul into the crystal all right let's get everybody synced up all right so now we need to capture a soul so I'm guessing Elder Scrolls came out about the same time as this. And they were just kind of having some kind of mechanic that's the same. I don't know. But uh, uh, we're going to go over here into the Undead City since we're already KOS there. And just uh, eliminate, uh, I guess, three or so of those guys. Let's see here. Run through this way. And we should shouldn't have much trouble. The only hard <laughs> I guess the hardest part is getting in, right? Like last time we uh we got killed on the uh enchanter, so hopefully we can just get them through. I'll probably invis right before I run through just to make sure. But once we get on the other side here, uh, I think it's just kill like the first three we find. I don't think we have to do anything fancy. Maybe just one. We'll see. All right, stop. Group and viz. And zoom, zoom through. Don't stop. There we go. Let's kill this guy. All right, my aura wore off. What? Your aura wore off too. Hers doesn't last. Like I don't know. This is, this is a pet peeve of mine, right? These these wow go laggy, right? Uh, these all say permanent, but they're not they're not permanent, and it's annoying. <laughs> I should it should be like I cast it once, and if I die, I cast it again. I shouldn't have to recast it every 30, 40 minutes. It is so annoying. Like. Uh, if it says permanent, it should be permanently there. Or if if there's that much of a hassle, make them AAs. Get rid of the whole system and turn them all into AAs. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why didn't you... Why are you no work? Why are you no worky? Oh, you son of a gun. I gotta, like, click this damn thing, huh? All right. This is, uh... This is gonna be a little tedious. I can't. I think you have to get them like fifty percent or something like that. So, uh, let's see if we can find a guy that's willing to sac be sacrificed here. Hey, Mister Enforcer, do you have a friend over there? No, you don't. Come on down. All right. So, let's put that on our bar right here, so I don't have to like deal with it. And click. Nope. 25% lower. <laughs> oh, God. The problem... I think this is a problem I was having when I did this with Tawani is because she was, like, one-shotting him because of her, uh... one of her AA abilities. There we go. Got it. 
So let's put them all on the bar, these guys, and we'll just do that again. What the hell is this? Wall of wind. Wrong spot. Let's put that there. All right. Um, hey, buddy. You look like you are uh, overdue for a nap. Taking a good rest there? I hope so. Alright, I don't need to even look at his screen. Twenty, forty, twenty-six, thirty-three, twenty-eight. Target does not possess a suitable soul. Alright, well. I know the guards do, so let's keep looking for a guard. That's annoying. Where are we? Maybe that guy was like relatively weak. Ooh, these guys look purple. You're gonna kill me. All right, what is he at? 64, 53, 20. Target must be 25. Go, go, go. Got him. <laughs> All right, we're gonna. Hey, your buddy, come with me. Get him up here. Now we need the druid, right? So 78. 62. I can hold back my nukes, right? So I don't get locked into anything. 23, 34. I said, go, 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 go. It's 20. It's 20. It's not clicking. I swear. <laughs> Either the zone is super buggy right now or just like my luck is terrible. Uh, these are... I don't want to fight three of these guys. Let's do this. What is he con? He is 97. Bring this guy up here, all right. Oh, you son of a gun. Get up here. Yes. Summon, because that is... That is the most legit mechanic in this game. All right. Clicky click. All right, 25% or lower. So there's got to be some kind of, like, special uh, thing going on with these guys. All right, 34, 30. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 20. Got him. All right, release the empowered crystal in uh, the in uh, in the heart of fear. All right, perfect. I guess we actually have to run out of here. Uh, group invis. I'm gonna run back to camp because uh, nothing's gonna happen since I'm invising. <laughs> so. Alright, so here we're back in town, and we're just going to run one character up here at a time. There we go. There was one one of these comes where, like, something comes and attacks you or something. Uh, I can't remember which quest that one was, though. Alright, let's go ahead and hail 
There we go. We get 2.77% uh, experience for AA. Go ahead and accept that. And there we go. Unusual Goral Coral is complete. And uh, there we go. One step closer. If we look at the achievement list here, uh, we now need to do the Harbingers of Thule uh, from Director Idris Menar. So that'll be the next episode for sure. Uh, unless I do something else in between, but uh, that's the direction we're going so we can get that sweet, sweet 20 to 30% experience uh, before we move off to the uh, chapter house and uh, try that zone out. All right. So thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day.